Oh my God, I do not believe it. I do not believe. Hello, greetings, welcome to a new adventure. Today I'm out metal detecting and back on the green, green hillside looking for some more old relics and treasure. Let's hope we can find some Georgian coins, pre decimal coins, something like that. The weather's currently dry, it may rain later. It's a little bit warm, 15, 16 degrees, but yeah, it's lovely, it's just right, just right to be out here metal detecting in the great great British outdoors. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and uh, check out some of my other videos because I work really hard and I've got some cool finds in my gallery. So yeah, welcome. Okay, so this is my first target of the day. It's coming in 71, mid-tone, it's small. My experience tells me this is probably gonna be a piece of lead. As always, there is only one way to find out. We dig it. It's coming in a little bit irony then when I had another go. Oh, the ground is lovely and soft. A bit of moisture. It's in the bottom of the hole somewhere. Oh, knew it. It's a small piece of lead. I knew that's exactly what it would be. Never mind, let's carry on. Have a look at this bad boy. I reckon that's a field mushroom. I could probably take that back and eat it. Andre would know more about that. Is that edible? It certainly feels like a... Oh, I don't know, it's a bit mushy. Maybe I'll leave that there and let, let the cows eat it. From out of the very depths of the earth, it's another one of these tractor stud things that I find so many of on here. It was pretty deep, seven, eight inches. Always give a good signal, they're very heavy, very solid. Why do I find so many of these on here? If anyone's got any idea, leave me a comment. Let me know why, because I'm stumped. I've got something just down there. Don't know if you can see it. It was coming in 74, really big signal. I thought it was going to be a chunk of lead. I didn't bother recording it. And it's a handle of a bucket or a drawer. Find quite a few of these on here. Possibly Georgian, I'm not sure. If anyone's got a better idea of an age, let me know. But or what it is. Is it off a drawer? Little drawer handle? Yeah, cool, let's carry on. Well this is my next find. Now I'm completely stumped on that. The only possibility I can come up with is that it's a purse bar, but I'm not 100% sure. If anybody else could enlighten me on what that could be, let me know. There's a little close up. Purse bar, scrap, something else. I don't know, I really don't know. This is the next one I'm going to look at. It's a solid 80. If I'm lucky, it could be a coin. If I'm not, it's junk. There's a little bit of iron next to it. We're ignoring that. Oh, I can already see it. It's a bloody cow tube. The bane of metal detectorists, these are. But you've got to dig them, because gold hammered come up as the same signal. Well, the heavens have opened up, it's started to rain. It's only very fine at the minute, uh, it's not too bad, it's actually keeping me quite cool but I'm going to carry on, I'm going to uh, stick to this tree line so I can stay in the shelter, yeah so let's carry on, not finding a great deal yet. Oh, 
Well, I got a signal under the tree, big fat 80s, and look at that. I've got no idea what this is, but it feels and it looks old. Look at the grey, uh, sorry, green patina on it. So nice, but this piece makes it look modern, as it's obviously had a wrench on it or something. I don't know, I'm stumped on that. If anybody might know what this thing is, let me know in the comments. Another mystery item. It's turning into one of those days, mystery items. This is my next signal I'm going to look at. It's very shallow. Get the double bleep, which means it's on the surface. And it's super loud. There could be two things, I'm not sure, but let's get in there and have a look. It's about here. Let's have a little scoop. Oh. Goodness me. Still in there. Oh. It's just a piece of aluminium scrap. I've taken interest into this one, it's a solid 68, it's not deep, mid-tone, could it be an old 10p, something like that, half crown even, let's have a look. It's not very deep, oh there's a big rock there, can't dig that, hopefully I should be able to fish it out there. Uh, I'm struggling. Oh my god, I do not believe it. I do not believe. Oh my god, I can see a small hammered coin. That is unbelievable. But why would that give such a big signal? Look at that. It's only my second ever hammered off this permission. It's got a hole in it. Oh my God, I'm so chuffed. Look at that. It's only my second ever hammered with the Deus 2 in almost a year. Listen to the signal, it's massive. That was only a couple of inches deep as well, if that. I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna show you. But I believe I think it's an Elizabeth the first. That's crazy. Just look at that. I've cleaned it up. It's an Elizabeth the first, two pence or a half groat, and it's in wonderful condition. I can't believe that. I'm so so happy. Look at the condition. The shield is perfect. Oh God, I can't believe it. Second ever hammered with my days two, and it's been almost 12 months since I've had this machine. Yeah, absolutely buzzing. Woo! The interesting thing, that medieval silver coin that I just found of Elizabeth I, well today is the 19th of September, it's actually Elizabeth II's funeral today. So that is a very, very obscure coincidence. Um, so yeah. It's a funny hobby, so chuffed. Only my second hammered this year, I think. Maybe even my first, I can't even remember. Can't remember last time I found a hammered. Cool, I've got another signal here, solid 88. Let's have a look, see what it is. Listen to that, super high pitched. Surrounded by iron. There's your iron. Quack, quack, quack. And there's your target. Let's have a look, my money's on a coin. Not very deep at all. Oh god. It's rocky. Should be able to get it there. What's in here somewhere? I'm gonna try and capture this entirely live. Oh, what have we got there? I'm not sure. Is it a little farthing? Is it just a a disc of nothing? 
I think it's just a disc of nothing. Possibly used to be a button. Um, I'm not sure. I'll clean this up and I'll show you. Well, I've cleaned it as best I can and I, there is literally nothing on that whatsoever. So it's probably a farthing. George the third, George the second, something like that. It's too far gone, but never mind. First signs of autumn are here. We've got acorns, we've got brown leaves. My favorite time of year. Well, this seems like as good a place as any to sit down and have my sandwiches, have a five minute rest, 10 minute rest. So yeah, I'm gonna sit here, eat my sarnies, and I'll see you, I'll see you when I, when I finish and have a nice break. Right out in the middle of nowhere here in the wilderness. Look at that, I've got a beautiful 88. I like that a lot. I've had a few bits of scrap off this uh, this area though, so it wouldn't surprise me if it was scrap. But there's only one way to find out. You take a little look under the ground. Could I have my first big penny of the day? Not often I go detecting and not find one. Ah. Mm. In the middle of the clod. There. What do we have? Oh no. It's one of those. Those things are annoying. Aluminium, something to do with the farm, I think. But never mind, we found hammered today. Well, this is quite unbelievable. It was a solid 80. Or 80, 81. I opened it up and I saw a flash of silver. Now, I think it might be a modernist shilling, but let's go in and have a look. Down here, oh, there we go, look. It's only gonna be a 1940s sixpence, I believe. But I don't mind that, because I found two coins today. They've both been silver. Look at that, it's me boy, George V. Oh, it's an acorn sixpence. 1934, let's give this a clean and I'll show you. And there we have it, 1934. George V, 50% silver sixpence. It's not in too bad condition, a little bit worn, but that's a really cool find for me. I love finding silver mill coins. It's literally why I do this hobby. Day is two, find so many silvers. It's just, yeah, it's just brilliant. I'm having a great time. I've had hammered. I've only had two coins today and they've both been silver. What a day in the office I'm having today. Where else would you rather be? Well, I had another signal right next to the sixpence. It's mid Tony, 72. I opened it up and I can see something round, possibly green. But what is it? Ah, it's a four old button. <laughs> no, never mind. I don't mind a little four old button, do I? This is a patch that I detected heavily last couple of times I've been here. Found that beautiful coin ring up there somewhere. Thought I'd done it very well, but I've had a, a solid 85 just here near this dead branch. I reckon it's gonna be a big penny. Let's have a look, shall we? Super, super bright signal that. But it's small, it's crisp, shallow. 
I'm going to say George Fifth Big Penny. As usual, I've got this wonderful backdrop behind me. It's a lovely place to spend a bank holiday Monday. Let's see, have we got a big penny? Oh God. Oh, have we got junk? Oh, can't even dig. Bit of dark grey soil about. Oh, here we go, look. No pinpointer required. It's not a big penny. It's a half penny. There's your imprint. Perfect. Let's get it out of a closer look. Well, I've been here for three hours and that is my first non-silver coin. I've got 1928 half penny. It was George V. But I got the denomination wrong. But I don't mind that. I love finding pre-decimal coins. I love finding any coins. I'm having a good time. Let's carry on. Well, that's it. I'm calling it a day. I'm going home. I've had enough. My feet are aching and I'm sweating. But what a day I've had. I found hammered silver for the first time in ages. A little Queen Elizabeth I half groat. I've also found milled silver, which is brilliant. Um, just an acorn sixpence. Uh, I've had a couple other bits and pieces. Yeah, I'm going to go home happy. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the scenery, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. It really does help me. Like the video as well. Leave me a comment. Let me know your feedback. Thank you to Regton and thank you to Noble MDT. And I will catch you on the next one. So here are my finds from today, starting with the junk, usual suspects, and here are my better finds. Not a great deal today, but look at the quality there. We'll start off with the medieval purse bar, I'm almost convinced that's what it is. I've seen some other examples online, so that's a cool find for me, something I don't normally find. And I've got another acorn sixpence of George V, this is the second one I've found recently. I don't mind finding those, soaked it in some lemon juice, came up a treat. Yeah, it's a really nice coin. And then here's my beautiful Queen Elizabeth I, silver hammered, two pence or a half groat. Found on the day of Queen Elizabeth II's funeral, which is a really crazy coincidence. This hobby's brilliant. Look how thin it is. Such a beautiful little coin, this made my day. There are people out there who've been sending me money via PayPal and I'm so, so grateful. Uh, it's been so useful to me. So if, if anyone else wants to support the channel, you can go to my homepage and click here, buy me a coffee. Any money that comes in this way will go straight back into the channel, whether it's for recording equipment, t-shirts, other stuff like that. I'm so, so grateful for, for everybody's support. So thank you and we'll see you on the next one.